Welcome to Convergence to Pixels, otherwise known as Convergence TP. Convergence TP is the market leader in bringing text from your IP appliances into your video surveillance system. Before we get into this demonstration, I'd like to briefly review the video quality settings within your YouTube session. At the bottom of your YouTube screen, you have an icon which allows you to change the video quality. Please set that to 720p and that will make viewing this very text intensive presentation much easier. Okay, let's jump into our presentation. Today's presentation will be on our license plate recognition integration into the feature rich Honest SI Ocularis platform. The Ocularis platform is ideally suited for just this type of application. For license plate recognition, we will be using Annex Zamir. There are a lot of emerging wannabe license plate recognition suppliers out there, but with over 15 years of experience in the LPR space, Annex Zamir is recognized as the service provider capable of getting the results you need day or night under the most demanding conditions. Okay, before we begin the live LPR demonstration, let me first go through a couple slides here which better explain where the Convergence TP product fits within the customer enterprise. On the left hand side of the screen you'll see a number of IP appliances which Convergence TP supports. In the center of the screen is the Convergence TP event streaming engine. This patent pending technology takes the wide range of IP packet protocols by, presented by these IP appliances and creates one homogeneous database which it then presents to the VMS system. Alright, let's talk about license plate recognition. This slide depicts a simple LPR deployment. The drawing at the top left depicts the LPR hardware and software complete with the specialized LPR cameras. Also depicted in this slide are some of the network components used within an LPR deployment as well as the VMS. When the license plate is read, a copy of the license plate data is sent to the event streaming engine. Upon receipt of the license plate data, the ESC creates an industry standard access camera stream which the ESC then sends to the VMS system for immediate display and or to be written to the video recording system. The ESC camera stream is written to the video recorder time synchronized to any and all cameras attached to the video system. All the LPR text received by the ESC is stored in our hypermedia search engine database and is available for post-processing searches which I'll demonstrate next. Okay, on to the live portion of this video. Unfortunately, I don't have Annex Samir hardware or software here in the office, but what I do have is our Convergence TP simulator for the Annex Samir traffic. We'll use that along with the Onisasi Ocularis client set up in a quad split view with four CTP cameras being shown here. Convergence TP cameras are ideal for these simulations in that I could set the splash screen to any view I'd like and for license plate recognition it's nice to have splash screens that reflect that environment. Alright, let me drive some live traffic into the information screen and we'll begin to talk about what's going on. In the top view, top right view now you see a, a live stream of, of traffic that came from the license plate recognition system. This is going to go away. It, right now the, the dwell time is set for 10 seconds for that traffic. I do that for my demonstration purposes. You could set that to any number you like or you could leave it up until the next event pushes it out. Alright, let me set up another transaction. Here's another license plate that's been received and this time I'm going to pause the video and we're going to blow it up and talk about it a little bit. Here you'll see a copy of the actual license plate was sent to us along with any text that was associated with that license plate from the Annex Amir system. This is great because now we have all that information within our hypermedia search tool and we could then retrieve it based on any piece of that text going forward. All of this is being sent to the recording server in an access compliant camera stream format which means it travels seamlessly through the VMS system. This allows it to be seen live, it's can be pulled back with any other camera within the Onisasi Ocularis client and it's also available to our hypermedia search tool which is extremely powerful and a great addition and complement to the Annex Samir offering. Let's talk about the hypermedia search tool. This is where doing this demo gets pretty exciting. Let me talk about our hypermedia search engine. The hypermedia search engine links the text from your license plate recognition system to the video stored in the Onis SI surveillance system. 
All right, so let me talk about the screens here before we jump into this. Normally, these would be on two separate monitors. On the left, we have the hypermedia search engine itself, and on the right is our video browser which pulls up video that we request based on text that is searched for in the hypermedia search engine. Again, normally these would be on two different screens, but for this demonstration I'm squeezing them on one so we can see everything that's going on. All right, let me log in. First thing you see when you log in is the search type. If you do the pull down, you'll see there are a number of IP appliances Convergence TP supports. We're doing license plate recognition, so let's select that. I'm going to skip over the search parameter right now. This is a filtering tool that we'll talk about in a few minutes. I'm going to leave the default time and date up. Uh, you can certainly, using the pull downs, change that to anything you like. And I'm going to talk about the spreadsheet in just a few minutes. Let's do a list. A list gives us a list of events with the most current at the top of the list. If I click on one of the thumbnails, it immediately brings up a stored image of that event from the recording server. As you can see, these are both the same. The significance here is this side of, of the screen is being pulled up from the recording ser server and this side is being rendered in real time when I click on that thumbnail. And the rendering is coming from our database of text that was built up as we were receiving it from the license plate recognition system. I have other options I can do here. I could leave the thumbnail alone and just click show cameras and I can get the same view that way. So this allows you to, if for instance you wanted to do an expand and see everything in that packet and then compare that with what's in the rendering, sometimes useful, as well as expand all. It expands all the license plates so that you can see the contents of the packet of each one. Again, a useful tool for doing a quick review of what you've, what you've searched for. Okay, so I'll do a collapse all. Now that we've covered the basics, let me do a quick filter here. And again, I'm going through this quickly. As you might imagine, there's quite a few possibilities and features you could explore, but in the sake of uh, YouTube time, I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. Here we set up our filters. We could set up the lane name. Now if you notice down here, there's a few things we could search on. The lane name happens to be one of them. And I'm going to select contains. And this tape case it's lane 2. I'm getting that because I know it's lane 2 from this, this image here. Now if we want to expand that to beyond lane 2 we could say alright I knew it was in lane 2. Uh, the plate number uh, equal to I don't remember it all but let me give you a couple numbers from the plate and let's say the numbers are 40. And we want to expand that further to include let's say the list type and we could say contains again. You could type in the full name if you'd like. I like contains because then I could just type in a couple letters like BL for blacklist. And I could expand this even further to include other parts of the plate number and so on. Um, and, and pick other parameters here and they're all anded together. But for now we're just going to go with these three and I'm going to do a list. List says I found one of these events in our database and here it is here. Notice the 40. It's a blacklisted event from lane 2. This is a quick way to boil down your search requirements to exactly the vehicle you may or may not have been looking for. You have the associated cameras that were visible at the time of that particular event brought up so all could be compared at once. This is an extremely powerful tool and it begins to highlight the advantages of converging these two technologies, your license plate recognition system with your existing VMS system. Okay, let me talk about spreadsheets. Spreadsheets is a new feature for us, and we think it's a very powerful tool for analyzing your search results. If I select Spreadsheet, it now converts me from the list view to a spreadsheet view as soon as I hit View here. As far as setting up the fields of the, the spreadsheet, the defaults are listed here. I could delete them and add them back or do whatever I wish at this point, but I'm going to go with the defaults for these four fields. I've now created a spreadsheet view of this particular search result. Because there was only one vehicle in the result, I only have one entry. Obviously, uh, I could have several results listed here, but in this case, we just have the one that we, we specified above. And show cameras still works from within spreadsheet view, so you still have the ability to bring up the camera associated with that search event. Now here's where it gets really powerful. You could also select download and what happens next is we download a copy of the comma separated data. 
when I open this file you'll see it's a very limited file based on our current search result so I have another file I'm going to use here we're going to open that up and that has a little more detail in it we can analyze this is another search that was done based on a one week period looking for blacklisted plates obviously this visual is very powerful and you can imagine merging our database with other analysis tools to even get more powerful output visuals for your report generation Okay, in the interest of time, or more specifically the time limitations of YouTube, this concludes my LPR integration video. As you can see from our adding the spreadsheet capability to our hypermedia search engine tool, Convergence TP continues to develop innovative new technologies that add considerable value to the inevitable convergence of IP appliance data into the video surveillance platform. Please feel free to contact us at www.c2p.com and fill out the contact us form to request your own personalized webinar for any specific LPR needs you may have. Also, please feel free to visit our technology partners below with their respective web addresses. Thank you.